Hello everyone. Today we're going to create an Apolite organic texture. Our objective is to have a look just like this one. Okay, so let's get started from scratch. So I'll create a new material and apply it to our sphere. Just double click on it. Um, I'll modify the specular first. We want a white specular um, and a little bit more of height. So we can see that it has a white hotspot over here and that's exactly what we want. Now let's go to our reflection channel um, I'll use a, a null texture um, let me get back as you can see the brightness of the reflection doesn't affect the, the actual reflection because we have a texture so if, want to, if we want to tone down the texture we have to go into this color um, and just modify it accordingly. I think I'll go a little bit lower about 20% okay and I'll just make this a bit tighter let's see how this looks and the Fresnel texture, what it does is just get the reflections on these parts of the sphere. And they're a bit toned down, that's exactly what we want. But I think I'll add some blurriness to it. Let's see how that works. I think that's pretty good so let's now go to our material again and to the color channel so we want the green color let's just play around a bit with the values I actually have the RGB colors I used before so I'll just input them have the exact same thing but it's green and as you can see because we have GI enabled the floor tints a bit too much green over this part so to fix that just go to the illumination and on the generate GI just lower the saturation it won't change the color of the actual material, but it will affect um, the surroundings. Okay, so let's go again to our color channel and I'll create a layer and just go into the color, select shader color. So now inside our layer we have the, the same color as before and I think we won't modify this. I will now add another channel, shader, noise. So as you can see it overrides our color so just set the transfer mode to stream. stream. Okay, And let's go ahead and modify this one. Um, I'll change the type to blister turbulence it's just right here okay and I think I'll change 
the global scale just a bit so it's a bit bigger okay um, I'll change the color as well uh, no, again white but just a lot darker okay let's see how that looks So as you can see, there are a bit of irregularities on our texture. Um, the floor has been corrected because we lowered down the saturation. Let's go again to our material and on our layer, I'll add yet another noise layer and set it again to screen. I'll go inside it. Um, this time I'll use an electric shader, okay, and I'll change the color to a dark green. Um, I'll make it. Oh, not that much. Not one. Um, okay, so I think that will do for this one. Let's see how that looks. And now it's not only irregular, but we have another tone of green that gives us these really nice fractal lines. Um, the last thing that I will do is add some uh, pimples, I would say, uh, some white pimples. So I'll just add a little posterizer effect so I can blur them from inside it. And on the texture, I'll add noise again. And let's go inside of it. Um, this time, I choose voxel. Okay, uh, but I think there are way too much of them. So I'll just lower the brightness, um, bump up the contrast. Okay, so now we have these white ones. Let's go up, up, um, again set it to screen. Um, we use this posterizer because I wanted to blur it a bit. make some of them disappear but not all of them okay let's render that and now we have these white pimples all over the texture and what we need now is a bump channel so let's go to our color and select our texture and copy it to our bump channel paste it and I want it to have a negative bump so let's see again how that works I think I'll just go inside here and delete the color channel and go to this noise and make it gray instead of green. So now the bump channel is way better. Um, and you can see that's a really simple method to create an organic texture and this could look like an apple if we zoomed out um, of course there are thousands of variations that you can use with different shaders of noise so just play around with them and see what comes out